I need a little light so I can store energy. I need a little light so I can make ATP. I need a little light. I'm going to make some food. It's outside and I need a little light. Been sitting here in this chloroplast feeling green the whole day through. Yeah, I'm a little fine. some electrons through a chain that's going to pump some hydrogen in. But it's been dark all night so you can see the state I'm in. And I need a little light so I can store energy. I need a little light so I can make ATP. I need a little light. I'm going to make some food. It's outside and I need a little light. When the electrons leave that chain, they're going to join NADP+. Plus. And that high concentration of hydrogen is going to want outside of me. It's going to go through a special protein that's going to kick some high ATP out. <laughs> and that's what moving these electrons is really all about. So I need a little light. So I can store energy. I need a little light. So I can make ATP. I need a little light. I'm gonna make some food. It's outside, and I need a little light. The ATP and NADPH are gonna make a cycle go round. At the end of the Calvin cycle, glucose can be found. Gotta put in six pieces of CO2 to make that precious food. And use up the products of the thylakoid. Darn, this system's good. So I need a little light so I can store energy. I need a little light so I can make ATP. I need a little light. I'm gonna make some food it's outside and I need what? a little light. Last verse, here we go. Chlorophyll that lost those electrons is gonna have to get some more. <laughs> An enzyme is gonna break apart water using six, no less, no more. It's gonna produce six molecules of fresh O2, though the plant just thinks that's waste. It's amazing to think that this photosynthesis is happening all over the place. So I need a little light so I can make energy. I need a little light so I can make ATP. I need a little light 